What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Elite Dangerous. <clears throat> so I couldn't think of anything to do, so I decided to try and unlock the next engineer. The next engineer is Elvira Martu. She does frame shift drives and shield generators. Um, her allegiance is independent. Her home system is Kuhn, 370 light years away. From where? I don't know. I assume the bubble or, or Sol, maybe? Sol is the Earth solar system. Commander, I deal with exotic and the unusual. I have an interest in alien items and other identified artifacts. Currently, I am attempting to debunk the myth of the Soontail relics. So bring me more for my research. You can buy them at Sharon. Sharonovsky, Sharonovsky city in the Naguri system. We need three Soontil relics. We learned about Alvira and Martuk from public knowledge. We gained access to her because we have atta attained a minimum distance from your career start location of at least 300 light years. You fulfilled your, and now we have to fulfill our initial contract by providing three units of Soontil relics. And I'll show you where she is on the galaxy map. Right there, Kuhn. Which is quite a ways from the bubble or anything else of interest. Almost out in the middle of nowhere. So right now I'm already headed to the Naguri system, which is right here. And I'm already one jump away from it. And it's it's going to be easier to get to Naguri than it's going to be to get to her, obviously. So, well, here we go. Naguri, right ahead. What I like to do when I'm going traveling long distances like this is I set the filter on the map to non-visited stars. So then I can scan each system and get paid once I get there. See, um, like, see how this is a long distance right here from where I was? Oh, that's not my trail, but yeah, it is. Okay, long distance, and then go to the filter. And put it on not visited stars. Yeah, and then so each jump you can scan the whole system if you want. But you gotta be careful to manage your fuel. Sharonovsky Market City, right there. 1200 light years away, slight seconds away. So let's head on into the city. Scan the system, yeah, did I? Eleven orbital bodies. Okay, oh, I, I got everything. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of these limpets. Gotta re 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 go see Felicity too. Put the different bo uh, boost modification on my frame shift drive. Wanted the longer, want to put on a longer range instead of boot time. Wonder what modifications this engineer has. Be awesome to get a shield modifications, get shield boosts, and make them last longer or recharge faster. Obviously, gonna have to split this into at least two videos because that's a lot, gonna be a long travel to go see her. Maybe two short videos is a better format. <coughs> Don't really need to see me jumping from system to system for an hour. An hour. I want 
I might try to get into some video editing and cut some footage out. I don't know. I only have a an old uh, MacBook from like 2006 or something. It's only got a Core 2 Duo on it. So I don't know how well that'll work with video editing. Maybe I could figure out how to use the share factory on the PlayStation. I'll have to give it a look. Maybe for this video, I'll just uh, film traveling there and edit it, edit it out. See that? This is a nice little ship I got. Pretty good weapons, got four hard point slots, two utility slots, got shield boosters in the utility slots that are engineered, got max rank shield, max rank call enforcement, got module reinforcements, have a SRV, and on top of that, got a detailed surface scanner. And this is only the, the third chip in the game. Got the Eagle, the Sidewinder. Oh, the fourth from the Viper. Those would be interesting to see. systems I scanned on the way here. It's only 53,000 now. Wow. That's a lot of systems up. stars I haven't visited. Plus, what, it, what we really will get paid if we go to a system we haven't visited and bump into an Earth-like or a water world.
23 jumps. Wow. It won't take long in real time. It's just just perspective, really. Probably only gonna take like five or ten minutes. But it'll probably seem like forever. You know, when you're looking at uh, jumping with stars you haven't visited, you gotta remember to watch your fuel. I'll show you how to handle that when, it, when the situation comes up here in a second. Oh, it's, it's going to take even longer for scanning systems, I forgot. I might have to edit this video for sure. Just leave in like one one system. We scan one system so people know what I'm doing when they fast forward. It. So this is all AC bodies. So you look in the top right, it says we're jumping to a class K star. You can fuel scoop those stars. The part cart stars you can fuel scoop are K, G, B, F, O, A, M. Those are the initials. So if I talk, talk enough try to keep you guys entertained, I might not have to edit it out. Let me see. So I can get my field scooped off. That's a nice field scoop right 343 seconds. And we're done. Let my ship cool down a second and we can get out of here. Now we're jumping to an I class star and an M star. It must be a binary. Select 
Rocky Ice World. Damn, empty systems, I don't like that. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Oh, 
you go. It's a solar flare. Illinois. I guess like giant. Or if there's anything else in here. In the system. Oh, there's. Of course there is. I just saw um, signal sources or asteroid belt signal sources. Got degraded. That's it. One degraded. It's a weird solar system there.
scan complete. Let's go cool. gathering the engineers we need for the uh, rather gathering the materials we need for the engineers and unlocking the engineers in the same mission. I mean, same video. That's good. Um, I had a problem with my mic. I hope I didn't 
repeat myself. We need those materials to upgrade the FSD jump range at Felicity Parse here. That's why I got the boot sequence, because I didn't have mechanical scrap. So getting those in the boat in the same video was good. Wasn't a waste of time, I don't think. Scan a planet all the time. It's like my nine to five job. Come on, planet, show yourself. Ain't got all day. There's a gas tank, yeah. Giant here. Follow these other orbit lines. See what we got going on. Nothing interesting. I see by into how many Earth-like planets or water worlds. I thought there would be more. you got a decent fuel scoop, which would be alright selecting unknown stars on your map. All icy bodies. Hopefully they're all clustered. I think 
they might be. Yep, we're already up to 88% scan. Just four nine four. Frameship drive Usually, right after you jump to a system, you're normally right by the star, which where the navigation beacon is also, so it's easy to find a fight because people, uh, the NPCs are around the navigation beacon usually. Because I thought in a system with only the star and no bodies, because if you look, there's no, there's no points of interest, there's no settlements, there's no stations, there's no planets, there's no moons, and so I figured there would be no people to fight. But let's go check the navigation beacon and see. Oh, there is no navigation beacon. Wow. But there's unknown signal sources. These are all degraded emissions. Eight sixteen degraded emissions. But no navigation beacon, that's crazy. At least they're all in a line clustered together. I'm making a beginner's mistake because I've seen people whose frame shift drive range was in the 30s. That's twice what mine is. So I think it'd be wise for you to wait till you get a ship with a really good jump range before you do long distance traveling because it'll go a lot quicker with a lot less jumps. You could cut the, tra the distance in half, which is, which is just significant. So instead of 24 jumps, it would have only been 12 jumps if I waited till I had a better ship, a better FSD. Wow. But I am a beginner, so. significant mistake though. Luckily when we get to the system all we have to do is land. We don't have to complete any mission objectives or anything. So we'll have enough time. Scan 
that's all. Tato, that's a good name. stars. Surprise. See right here it says, at the top it says jump range. My current is 19.3 light years and with, with an empty ship it's 20.36. I've seen people with those numbers in the 30s. Some nice modifications at the engineer. And the whole trip's not boring and dull. It's a fire circuit. Sometimes it'll scan the whole system and other times it don't. This game is in uh, England or the UK somewhere or Britain. So of course they speak proper English. I've been thinking a lot about accents today, how if people have accents, don't realize they have accents, and it's it's not really an accent. Most people just ignore it, but the way you say words, like if you say words quickly, like give me that, and then it, that's completely different than give me that, you know. But it's not really an accent. I wonder like if every, every it's like that everywhere. I bet it is. Because in England, there's, I heard there's two different, I read there was two different kinds of uh, English speaking people, two different kinds of accents for the cold country. Separated by uh, the north. And, wait, I'm getting confused. It's either just separated by the north and the south, or it's separated by class. The poor people have a certain accent, and the rich people have a different accent. The poor people have the, the thicker uh, accent, while the, the rich people have the, um, the higher pitched, more elegant sounding accent. I think that's what it was. Mm-hmm. 
getting close. Jumps. Awesome. Rishna. Content world. Exciting stuff here. Vishnu 7. Vishnu 6. 7A. Vishnu 2. Vishnu 5. Vishnu. Six, Vishnam three, Vishnam four, I metal content world Vishnam one. But when I go to the engineer and change my uh, FSD modification, I'll notice the difference. But now I don't. It seems it seems slow to me. If that's even a boot sequence. Gas giants here. I think four. Class class one gas giant. Is that what that was? Also have a icy body. Oh wow! Rocky body. Rocky body. Rocky body. Rocky body. Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa. Oops, wrong button. And there she be, ladies. Asteroid belt. There's like one more gas tank. Class one of oh, class three with the ring. The other one's over here as well. 
class two with the rain. Looks like we got one more. I don't know if it's in here, but these other things are. Rocky body? Yeah. Uh, 28 orbital bodies, and we had to scan almost all of them. Together, we have got to go. Time is of the essence. Class one gas giant with the ring system. Eight planets in this little section here. Two more. We're done. System scan complete. We have got the goal. Two jumps. Now we're going to scan the next system. Or fuel scoop, I'm just going to jump. Sorry it took so long. I hope, I hope I was able to entertain you while, while you were watching me jump through emptiness of space. I'll scan it this way, but I'm not slowing down. found a new classification of a gas giant for the first time. We might just barely make it on time. What's the name of her building? Site base, yeah. Keep some nice and close. Oh crap. Not good me. Tell me it's on a planet, oh lord. Not gonna make it. Once you see this candy colored planet, you know you found Elvira. Thanks for watching and thanks for helping me unlock the engineer Elvira Mutuk. And 
we got some swim tail relics. We got to get three of them and bring them back to her. But it looks like we're going to have to cut this video short. Appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and comment, and keep watching my videos. I'll, you can give, drop me some advice or give me some pointers. That's all right. I'll, I'll try and make some, some videos before we make the improvements. But thanks for watching.